Allodynia versus hyperalgesia. Allodynia is when touch hurts when it shouldn't. Allodynia means other pain. It is a pain that results from a stimulus that is not normally painful. Causes. Strong evidence suggests sensory neuronal fibers may stimulate pain pathways, possibly due to an error in long-term potentiation. These are a couple of the causes and there might be many more. Diabetes. Diabetes-related neuropathy can occur when nerves become damaged. Fibromyalgia. This can cause fatigue, memory problems, and pain all over the body. Shingles. Allodynia can linger for months or years after shingle rash has disappeared. This is called herpetic neuralgia. Migraine headaches. These can occur along with allodynia up to 70% of the time and nutritional deficiencies, a severe lack of vitamin D or vitamin B can lead to allodynia. Also, drinking too much can cause nerve damage. Types. There are three main types, dynamic, static, and thermal. In dynamic, when pain results from an object moving across the skin. Static is when a pain results from gentle touch or pressure. Thermal is when pain results from a mild change in temperature. Treatments. There are various treatments that can be possible. First is oral medications. Next is topical medications, which are like cream that you can put on your skin. Counseling and therapy is especially helpful for patients with chronic pain who might not really benefit from any medication and surgery or nerve blocks. Nerve blocks are when they put a local anesthetic onto a targeted group of neurons that cause the pain in order to stop the pain perception. Next is hyperalgesia. Hyperalgesia, your body reacts, overreacts to painful stimuli, making you feel increased pain. The causes. Hyperalgesia happens when your body's pain receptors or nociceptors become damaged or sensitive. When you have an injury, your body releases pain signals. These signals stimulate your nociceptors and increase your pain response. The image on the right shows this pain response and the exaggeration of it. Types. There are two main umbrellas. First is opioid-induced and second is injury-induced. In opioid-induced, increased pain sensitivity occurs after taking opioids like heroin, morphine, or fentanyl. In injury-induced, it's caused by injury to tissues or nerves. The first is primary hyperalgesia, which is pain around the injured body part. And the second is secondary hyperalgesia, is when the pain spreads from injury to other body parts. Treatments. The treatments can differ based on the condition causing the hyperalgesia. Providers may also try to reduce the pain perception. This process includes a lot of trial and error, with frequent adjustments to give patients the best possible experience. The various types of treatments include reduced opioid dosage if it's opioid-induced hyperalgesia, per, um, provide medications like methadone, ketamine, or buprenorphine, and of course nerve block, which is again when they use a local anesthetic to target a group of nerves that are causing the pain. So comparison, allodynia and hyperalgesia are both neuropathic pain. They can be analyzed using pressure algometers, monofilaments, or weighted pinprick stimuli. But the clinical presentation differs between the different pain conditions. Allodynia is just when a small sensation can still cause a pain, whereas hyperalgesia is when a pain is extended or exaggerated. Allodynia is a symptom, not a disease. The image on the right shows the stimulus intensity's um, relationship along with pain intensity, and allodynia comes before the injury. Hyperalgesia is after the injury. So I have a couple of case studies for all of you today. These are, of, of course, not as hard to diagnose as real patients are, but they can give you a quick feel for it. So the first is Annie. Annie came into the physician's office claiming she has severe pain when brushing her hair. Annie's history. She's a 54-year-old female with diabetes and fell in the room fell in the bathroom two days ago. 
So the answer is that she has allodynia. Her main problem is she feels pain while combing her hair. Although she did fall in the bathroom, her symptoms tell us what the problem might likely be. Additionally, she has a history of diabetes. Case study 2. Miss Lisa comes into the physician's office claiming that she feels pain when she moves her leg. She injured her foot two months ago. Pain seems too exaggerated. She has diabetes and she's 60 years old. What do you think this is? The answer is, of course, she has hyperalgesia. The key point is that after injuring her foot, she's feeling pain shoot up her leg. This foot was rehabilitated a long time ago. The pain has exaggerated. So hopefully you guys can defer between allodynia and hyperalgesia.